U.S. oil production after rising steadily started to decline in the middle of 2015, and in September of 2016, it had declined about a million barrels a day due to the downturn. However, things started to change, and since September of 2016, it's been on the rise. Today, we received data for December of 2016, and although it had pulled back a little bit, overall, we're about 200,000 barrels a day higher than we were at the bottom. To understand where U.S. title production may be heading, it's instructive to look at the rig count. This chart shows the rig count currently at around 600 rigs, way down from the 1,500 or so rigs we saw in 2014. Now in 2014, we saw about a million barrels a day of production growth from tide oil. So based on such a lower rig count today, you wouldn't think that growth will be that large. But that isn't telling the whole story because there's been so much innovation over the last couple of years, both in the speed that one rig can drill a well and the amount of oil coming out of each well. And so when we adjust the rig count for today with, to the productivity gains that we've seen, we get a much different picture. And you can see that the productivity adjusted rig rate shows that we're not so far off the peak drilling rates we saw back in 2014, maybe only about 10% down. So it is possible we could see a million barrels a day of tidal growth in the United States over the course of 2017. Well, it's uncertain how much higher they could go because there are some real constraints to growth. One is the fact that we're already seeing, as the activity levels come up, higher costs. And these higher costs are weakening the economics for drilling tidal, and we may actually see a slowdown in activity because of that. Also, there's some physical constraints. There's a lack of people that can get into the field and equipment to get the rig rates much higher. What we know for sure is that everyone will be watching the rig rate this year to understand where it's going. But one thing to keep in mind is when you're looking at rig rate, you need to look at the productivity adjusted rig rate to understand what it might mean for the future of U.S. oil production.